Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel at Sadi's Finances. My name is Sadi, and here on YouTube I talk all things budgeting related. I hope you're all doing well and I also hope that you're having a great week and weekend so far. So I know this is a bit late but I'm going to do like my week one sort of expenses. I know I could have done a bit of it last week because it was there were five days but I sort of combined it into into all of week one. It just I just thought it was much more easier that way and to be honest like between the 1st and the 5th of Feb I didn't really track my expenses so I thought I'll just track it a bit more better this week. I haven't really done it that better this week but I feel like I'm still on track in terms of my spending. I haven't gone overboard or anything like that so I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, so um, today we, I've spent a bit more money, in not, not today, but yesterday because like I was saying in my previous videos, like Valentine's, Valentine's, we don't really do that. But uh, my sisters wanted to do that um, this year for whatever reason. They just wanted to kind of make, just to do some fun stuff. And I thought, okay, I'll participate with you guys as well. It's not something we've ever we've done it before. But we thought, why not just make a day out of it. Um, do some like pizzas and heart shape, get some donuts, get some like paper and stuff like that. Like candles etc just to make sure it's like a girls night sort of in so we're doing that today so I've had to spend a bit of money from my fun wallet that I wasn't planning to spend but that's fine because we're doing something fun it's we're gonna watch a movie you know do some fun things like baking uh, making pizzas and stuff uh, baking cookies etc so yeah I'm looking forward to that and that we're doing that today rather than the 14th um just easier to do on the weekend but I've had like an expensive couple of days so let's get into tracking that especially <laughs> the food side has been expensive because I have been buying a bit more stuff as well and we had some sort of um evening due on Friday so we had to buy some like more bits and bobs from the food shop and it turns out to be a bit more expensive than I was expecting so let's get into logging down my expenses and just for information I won't be um what you call it tracking how much money I left in my black um envelope blind binder that's because I haven't really taken out the money to put it on my credit card um for transparency purposes I've been using my credit card uh, quite a lot this week just to build up some points but I've got the cash still in my back um binder and I'm planning to cash all the um money in that I've spent so far and pay off my um credit cards um I've only used my American Express one, that's the one I can get points on. And I just thought it would be um, ideal to just build up some points that I can use to get Amazon vouchers later or use it towards a gift or etc. So, yeah. <laughs> so, on the 1st of Feb, I spent £100. And that goes on rent, housing. And because I live at home, um, it's obviously cheaper for me. <clears throat> and then on the 2nd of Feb, I spent um, 14 99 at Skin Me. So this is online, sort of like a subscription thing. And this is usually um, 24 99 But with my American Express card, I get £10 off until March. So one more month off it being at 14 99 and then after that it's going to be 24.99 and so far it is working on my skin well i haven't noticed like a major difference apart from my skin being very very dry and that's because i'm using the active um ingredients like tretinoin but in terms of hyperpigmentation i haven't really noticed much of a difference but i haven't really been that good in my skincare or like what i've been eating as well so i do need to change that up a bit but i am going to try this for about six months and then I can just say whether it's made a proper um, difference or not. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and zoom in a bit more. can't zoom in any more than that, but hopefully you can read that without any issues. Then on the 4th of Feb, I spent £83.74 and p in ASA. And this was expensive. I can't remember what I actually purchased in this. I know I bought, like, a few things that were personal care related and some healthcare bits and bobs but I really didn't track it that's what I've been bad with the two food shops I didn't really track it so that is a bit annoying but it's fine I'm not it's not end of the world I'll just do better next month 
and I also spent £9.87p at Lidl and this was getting croissants and eggs because there seems to be an egg shortage everywhere so I managed to get eggs um, in Lidl that day um, and then the 5th of um, February I spent £9.75p and p at M&S now we don't really have an M&S local to us so it's a bit further away from us and I decided to buy cakes did I need these cakes? No, I didn't. I even bought Colin the caterpillar cake because I've just seen a lot of people um, like purchase it and it was in the news quite a lot, I think, last year in terms of copyright infringement with, um, I think it's Aldi, something like that. And I thought, what is the hype around this cake? And so I decided to get it and I did. And do you know, it's, it's a decent cake. Would I personally get it again? Um, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe. It's not bad for cake, um, but yeah. Bit dry, but that was fine. <laughs> and then on the 8th of Feb, just to break it down, I spent £30, but I gave £30 to my mum. And I just do this through her Chase bank account, it's just easier that way. And then on the 11th of Feb, which was yesterday, I had a bit of a spendy day, I spent £1.98p, no, £1.78p at Body Care. I just had to buy a few personal care bits. And then I also spent £50 at charity. I'm sure you're all aware of what's happening in Turkey and Syria with the earthquake. So and this time I decided to donate money over there. And hopefully that helps them out a bit. Um, and then £45 and 9p was um, done on petrol first transportation um, this time I didn't let it go to the red light <laughs> but um, I think 45 pounds is, is all right I'm hoping that will last me for the rest of the month it should do but we shall see because I am trying to do a few trips here and there now I spent 89 pounds at Asda and that was food um, a lot of like um, drinks and stuff like um, fizzy drinks. Um, what else did we get? It's like JTO. It's a lot of drinks and stuff, like soft drinks and stuff. Um, so yeah, and they are a bit expensive compared to before. And ten pounds and eleven p was spent on fun stuff, just getting stuff from eBay and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just gonna take this from entertainment. Just going to move this up a bit so you can see without any issues. And then I also spent £7 and 12p at a little. And again, I bought some croissants and nuts and stuff. So <laughs> the food has been quite expensive. I'm pretty sure I've spent the majority of the um, groceries wallet. And I think I need to be careful for next month that. Um, I'm not doing like a trip to Asda, I'm doing a tra like, trip to like Tesco's, Mark Spencer's, um, Lidl because when you do, when you go to another shop you see more things and then you end up spending more money so I need to be careful with that. So in terms of week one expenses slash week two in a way I've spent £451.45 and p so it, it has been expensive, but if you split the weeks off, um, it hasn't been that bad. I think the first week would have been around roughly 200-ish pounds, and the second week would be about 250-odd pounds. That's because, you know, petrol, the food shop, um, charity, etc. And usually charity I leave towards the end of the month, but I thought best to do, better, uh, to do it now, and so that I can help where I can. So yeah, so I don't think it's been too bad. Um, in terms of improvement, the food wallet does definitely need improvement because I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to Lidl and I'm spending like 10 or roughly about £10 there, so it obviously it adds up. But I've got no more um, money to spend from the food wallet, which is fine. Like if I need snacks and stuff, I've, I've also been buying snacks from my food budget rather than using the snack wallet. So I'm going to see how that goes as well. That's something that I've just done in the last week or so. So I'm hoping that helps, um, but if I'm craving snacks, I still have my £5 that I can use, so it's not end of the world. So yeah, 
I think I'm doing fine. There's room for improvement and stuff. And I did buy some bits and bobs from Primark. I haven't included that in this here yet because whether I'll keep this stuff, I don't know. And I don't want to log it and then change it up. So you'll see it in my next week's expenses, hopefully. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And leave me a comment let me know how your expenses are going for the week of February so far. What month of February so far. Bye-bye. <laughs>